Weekly Cup. I'm Golden Boy FTW, joined by Sickness, and this is the final game. It has gone the distance. It has gone the distance. It has gone boy. the distance, like Cake said, and it is going to be, you know, the band. He's the going way. the distance. Yes, and uh, He's going for speed. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, you know, Garpy attacking. Oh, Garpy's actually leading off here on Fortress, Ooh, which is not something that we've seen, perhaps because he hasn't disconnected in a while. Yeah, he's kind of changing things up a little bit for Dignitas. You know, they started with Kawa. Now they then they went to Frantic. Now they're at Garpy as the leadoff attacker. So, interesting choice. <laughs> oh, 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 whoa. Hello. Garpy does Hello. not start things off very well for his team. He gets uh, a little double tap by Sparko and then finished off by Hybrid Wizard. Yeah. Yeah, well, that uh, does have a weird name. <laughs> well, let's uh, see what's going to come of this one now. As uh, Sparko is going to be on the attack map, is Fortress, by the way. Um, I would say it's a defensive map, but the offense, you know, it's more than capable of winning yeah. because they have a lot of options with movement. It's a little bit less defensive than the last yeah. map we just played, um, for sure. Uh, at least in my opinion. Um, but uh, Sparko isn't really going to be able to make anything happen on this first attack round for him, um, unless you know. He gets something one. He has to get one down, like down. right now. Yeah, he, he needs he needs to make something happen here. Um, he could be you know on a wall drop. Ooh. Oh, and there it is. You know, he still does have time though. So maybe I spoke a little too soon. Maybe there's this uh, cursed casting curse, uh, as you were saying it. The sick boy for the lose curse. <laughs> sick boy for the lose. <laughs> All right. Well, 12 seconds on the clock here. Uh, it seems like Sparko might be able to get one rocket now. Uh, will be AO. Oh, he's going in and he gets taken out from behind as Garpy uh, is there with the stop right away. And now it is going to be Kawa here who was the leadoff. He's a great player. Um, more than capable. You know, all six players here have been playing so well yeah. that they're all pretty much on point to be able to take a W here, um, you know, on the attacking round. And, and that's the scary thing about these players. You know, they're so talented and they've been playing against each other so much now at this point that they read each other so well you saw that charge yeah, shot on the right charge side shot, a little bouncy oh look Whoa. at that oh nice kawa there we go nice shot there kawa has been really yeah. taking advantage of that wall jump he and he yeah. loses two armor though so that's Ouch. gonna suck yeah that is gonna suck for him he does get a nice pick there at the start of the round with the wall jump uh shenanigans if you will um nonetheless you know he's kind of just hanging out over here uh he, he's not doing too much um might I say tea time with Kyla? No, I probably won't. But uh, nonetheless, we got uh, the the point is now open. Kawa is uh, going to be patient oh, here. Oh, wow, a great nice shot. shot there on a Sparko. And it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation with one armor. Now he's moving towards the point. Um, I like that what Quaker just did. He kind of just oh, jumped wow. off the wall. But nonetheless, Kawa lands a nice shot there to end the round. Now giving Dignitas an early, early lead right Indeed, there. Indeed, man. That was a great shot. And... And, you know, you got to give him credit because that was just very, like, he had great movement. And yeah. the round seemed like it was going to be done for uh -huh. him totally. because he was just like, you know, he was already down to two armor. Wow. Good stuff. Yeah, very good. Very good stuff by, uh, by Cal right there. Um, one of the stronger players on Dignity Sauce, perhaps, uh, at least as far as today's performance goes. Um, you know, actually, they've all been playing well. I can't, I don't even know if I can say that. Uh, no one player well. has, yeah. has no stood out. No one player yeah. has stood out necessarily. Um, so maybe I'll take that one back, guys. Uh, take it back. I'll take it. All right, it's taken back. I okay, take it back. It back. Whoa, Quaco with a, with a nice little wall jump there. He does miss that open shot, though. Um, now he does have a defender behind him. He's, he's not really paying attention much to him. I, I expect him to get hit once or twice from that guy. Oh, and the point is now open. Oh, and he almost gets it, but no, he yeah. does not. Very close, but uh, but not close enough. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, man, we should get some uh, chicken and fries and stuff. Some chicken and fries? Yeah, I don't want spam. You don't um, want spam? I, yeah, uh, no. I don't want spam. But Do these I, guys shoot spam? Do they shoot chicken in this game? Uh, I don't know, man. Let's try to catch but some they, of these chickens. But chicken according to you, they shoot bands. pork fat. Pork fat. So well, that's okay. That's, that's debatable. That's a thing, you know, that I said. I'm not going to stand by it necessarily, but <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, hey. Oh, nice Stuff shot. happens. Frantic here trying to extend the lead for Dignitas. Um, you know, if he gets this round, that's going to be brutal for Pyro. None of these teams have really been hot with their lasers as, as far as the last few maps is, has gone. Yeah, I can't even talk at this point. <laughs> yeah, um, man, you're going to see here is a Frantic actually uh, does get hit with one, tries to go for a shot, and he, oh, man, he trades, but he's able to nail one there, and there's going to be a 1v1 with one armor left now as the goal is going to be live. Oh, he shoots the freaking laser and lands on the rocket. He's going to move into the goal. He might just get taken out, oh. and he does it. The rocket goes right for the feet.
but the lead is still in the favor of Dignitas. Yeah, very close round. Frantic almost had that one. Um, now it's going to be up to Hybrid to try to bring things back with Pyrogen. Let's see what he can do. Perhaps he can take this round win. Oh, and either way, though, we are going to have a winner of the entire game here, folks. So, uh, you know, the question is going to be, you know, who is going to step up to the plate? Right now, it has been Dignitas. Um, wow, Ooh. and it has been Dignitas because that was a, a quick and great stop there. Garfi was landing a, a double tap there, and now he will be attacking. So perhaps, you know, he can follow up that success he had in the last round with an attack run here. Um, taking a look at the stats, by the way, you're going to see nothing too crazy. It is a pretty even spread, uh, but, uh, you know, Kawa playing Kawa the best out of everyone here with that one attack round. Yeah, definitely. That's going to really be what sets them apart right now. Um, now Garpy is going to have to try to extend the lead here, um, get things finished up for Dignitas, and they would be the first winners of our EU Weekly Cup. Yep, Curse was the first winner of the uh, North American. Yeah, they played very well. They did. They finished... Uh, they only dropped two maps in the whole tournament. Who they played against in the final was a spin move. It was Complexity. It? Oh, Complexity. Without Carnage. Complexity um, without Carnage. Gills and Griffin. All yeah. That's just real dangerous. You know, that is, uh, I'm really interested to see what they do moving forward, um, you know, complexity, because I think they're a talented team. But Oh, yeah, totally. You know, a lot of veterans on that squad. But let's see here. Garpy is going to jump oh. around. He misses, or he, yeah, he's able to nail one there. Yeah, that was nice. going to be on but hybrid, not. but Garpy gets yeah, taken out by Sparko. Late. Yep, yep. Now it's going to be up to Sparko. The dude who uh, was having trouble making that mid jump on the last map. Uh, kind of have to laugh a little bit about that, guys. That is kind of a little funny. Even if it is the new patch, you know, that's still something that uh, that you just got to laugh. And, you, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that the Pyrogen guys are going to be able to laugh at themselves for that, too. Just because, you know, it's kind of it's just a little funny, funny yeah. thing that happened to them. Um, oh, Sparko hits two rockets right there. Both of them could have easily been uh, uh, landed on to that defender right there, but uh, he does take one point of damage as well. And he's got 15 seconds left before the points open, so he still does have time. Shoots another rocket. This guy just wants to shoot these rockets here in this round, but uh, he gets hit he's again. One, one he doesn't armor. want to hit anyone. He just wants to hit, ro hit rockets. Hit damn rockets. He's kind of just staying in the same spot. I don't like it. I would like to see him you know, try to get a new angle. He's not making these shots as of now, um, and he's just going to get rushed down and taken out there by Kawa at the end. Yep, and that is going to be that round. Uh, now, uh, once again, stats as Kawa will be one and seven, so he's very just nice. playing, uh, you know, in top form here, yeah, very um, nice which is Kawa. exactly what they need. Now he will be on the attack, and he's opting to go into a different route from before. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. choosing to go more on the right side of the map. Now the question is, what is uh, what is Pyrogen going to do to answer back? Uh, he didn't go full right, Whoa. as he does manage to nail a hit though, and uh, that was actually going to be Hybrid who gets taken out. So now one v two. Two armor as he does trade. Can't nail that shot, but Rocket's whizzing so close to him. Yeah, and he drops down to the bottom and needs to go up on the jumper. Yeah, the jumper, it's, it's always going to be a little rough. Oh, no, they actually don't play the advanced positioning that we see a lot of the North American teams play. They'll go up towards their spawn as the defenders um, and try to land those air shots. Oh, and Kawa. Ah, wow. He actually just hits a rocket right there. I didn't even see the rocket come out. Um, but he's going to, oh, try to get on the point, and he gets it up good to try. 57. Good try there by Kawa. Kawa has been playing very well this game. Uh, he is, as of now, the MVP for Dignitas. Yeah, yeah, you could say that, um, of course. Uh, of the map, at least. I think of the map, yeah, for sure. But I, I feel like, you know, Frantic had some pretty clutch games. Um, you know, Garpy has oh, been yeah. playing like a beast on defense. And then on the other side, though, the only player that I think has been pretty quiet on the other side has been Hybrid. We saw a lot out of him in the semifinals, but not this time around. Um, Sparko and Quaker have been more or less uh, the, big, the big players on this team. But, of course, Hybrid is still playing very solid, and that's what you want. You don't want anyone to go crazy showing off and all that stuff. It, it's just all about solid, consistent gameplay here. Uh, Quaco going to be going on the left side of the map. He's trying to see if he can take out one defender, but he cannot. With seven seconds on the clock at this time, he finally manages to take out Kawa, but there was a trade there, and now he's going to be at one armor left. So with that trade, this is not going to be a good spot for him to be in. Moving into the goal, and Quaco gets taken out by Frantic. Yep. Now it's just inching closer and closer towards the Dignitas win. You know, if Pyrogen doesn't make anything happen on their attacking routes. If gonna... Frantic pulls off this one here, yeah, and then if this Frantic, could very well be it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Pyrogen hasn't been able to do much on attacking on this map. So, I mean, this would pretty much be the nail in the coffin if, if Dignitas is able to land yet another um, 
attacking around, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. You know, everyone's been defending pretty well here on this map, and as you see, that guy he's actually using the uh, the bouncy rockets, as I like to call them, <laughs> or uh, the charge shot, if you will. The bouncy um, bounce rocket. Frantic's actually kind of just running around in circles right now. He's just kind of doing a loop de loo, kind of just hanging out. Um, kind of poking left there, not doing much, not even getting a peek off. Uh, and now with seven seconds left, oh, he wow. actually finally makes his first shot onto one of the defenders with a pretty nice shot right there. Um, the pole is now open, and he still has all of his armor, so Frantic is being patient, and he's able to, uh, you know, maybe make something happen here for himself, but his, his, the time is winding down. He's got uh. five seconds left. He's just running around. He's not able to make anything happen right here, and he gets taken out by... Quaco. Yep, and that ends that round. 6-5 here, and uh, Hybrid could very well tie this game up here and uh, make it 6-6. Six six. Um, but, uh, you know what? For the sake of uh, my stomach, I hope not. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I want to see a good game, and yes. I think that uh, Hybrid is more than capable of doing it here. I said he's been a little quiet, um, you know, in this series of just playing some solid defensive uh, play, uh, but perhaps this could be the time for him to pretty much just uh, open up the floodgates for his attack run and make things happen. Hybrid going on the left side of the map, not able to find anyone or connect. He's going to wait it out here for, uh, that was uh, actually Kawa, Kawa to make a mistake. Yeah, but he's uh, actually not able to uh, land anything as of yet, and time is kind of ticking down here. Garpy, tea time with Garpy. He is just looking into the wall, doing nothing. Uh, Hybrid is now spotted. He lands a couple shots onto the rockets. Um, very close shots that could have landed on Kawa right there, but end up not landing. He does take out Frantic, and it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with one armor left. It's a rocket, hits another rocket, oh, and he gets wow. taken out by Kawa from the point. Very close round, and Hybrid almost just won that. Oh, that was Ira. insane. That was crazy. Just that because was crazy, my he misses, he he shoots all these rockets like numerous times, and I mean that's just pandemonium. That, that's just madness. That's just madness. Now Garpy attacking here. Kawa with that one attack round win. He has ten defensive rockets landed. Garpy not having the best game right now. No, he's um, not. As he's going to be going on the far left side. He Boom. is able to nail a shot though. Good start. That was going to be a forty-three meter shot, but he, and he doesn't trade, so that was going to be a big win for him as well. Yeah, it is. Now he's going to creep his way up towards the back. Um, he's going to try to get a new angle here. I don't know if the defenders saw him, but now they definitely will after finding that shot. Um, so they do know where he's at. Um, he still has plenty of time, guys. He's got nine seconds before the points open. He's kind of just hanging out right here, trying to make the defenders guess where he's at. He gets a nice open shot onto hybrid, and he still has three armor. And the point is now open. He's going to be able to capture it. And he That's does it. give Dignitas the 8-5 to five advantage here. So Dignitas is looking to finish out this game. That could so very well be game there if... You know, if Sparko gets shut down here right away, Ryan, we could be uh, looking at a lunch break. We could be looking at a lunch <laughs> break. And more importantly to the viewers, the first team to win this European Weekly. But don't count Pyrogen out. Sparko lands a nice shot to start the round off. And he still has plenty of time. He loops around the back oh and lands another Lord. great shot onto Garpy. Now, Sparko is hanging out at the <laughs> point. Just as we say it. <laughs> just as we say it. It's like caster curse. Oh, he still yeah, has plenty hilarious. of time. I'd like to see him kind of just play passive, not get hit by any rockets here, and just go for those those pot shots. And I would actually just go for the clock winding down. <laughs> you I just, mean, you can, you can go for the shot, but I would go for the clock to wind down yeah. and just run in right in there and just, there you Boom. are, you there just take the shot. Sparko keeping Pyrogen's hopes alive right wow. now. Now it's going to be up to Kawa if he wants to finish off right now, or if he gets defended on, will he give Pyrogen another chance to stay in this game and take it to extra innings. I, you know what, man? I mean, I am at a loss for words at this time uh, because that seemed like it was going to be a round for them to win. Um, that was that was theirs. You know, they, they had that one. But Kawa is not going to take this one lying down here as he takes out one defender. He's going to go for the second, not able to connect with it. Going to go far, off, far on the left side of the map here. So uh, he needs to make his way around, but he has plenty of time, and there's going to be two defenders left with three armor. This is a winnable situation. Never mind. Kawa loses an <laughs> armor. And uh, that uh, ends that sentence. Still potentially winnable. And oh! he does take out Sparko. So this might be a nice little uh, string of attacks here to end the game here. Yeah, be very exciting for you viewers. But that's oh, it. It is. Nice. Kawa finishes the map. Very nice. Kawa with two attacking rounds. Wow. That was a good, that was a good game. Dignitas. Pyrogen off. climbed their way into it. They, they, they just tried to couldn't get out of the game. Like, no, Dignitas the is the weak. I don't know what that was. 
<laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Dignitas is the champion for us, guys, in our first European Weekly Cup yep. here at IPL. So congratulations to them. And, uh, of course, congratulations to Curse Gaming that won the first North American Weekly Cup. So that's actually pretty cool as well. Indeed. But, guys, uh, that's going to be it as far as tournaments uh, or, like, you know, actual, like, events going on for uh, IPL Shoot Mania. Tomorrow, yeah. though, we will probably be going live with a, uh, you know, play day as we uh, dabble in uh, Beta 2, play some of the new settings, get some grapple hooks on, you know what I mean? Yeah, Just come have play with fun. me and this guy. Yeah, yeah, so it's going to we'll be pretty be cool. So uh, we'll post more about that on... Uh, the IGM Pro League Twitter, as well as my own Twitter, which is at GoldenBoyFTW, and he is at Sickness, which is S Y C K N E S S S S S. It's four S's. Um, so Thank yeah, you, and sir. once again, congratulations to our winning team, Dignitas, and to Pyrogen as well, who actually helped us in providing the servers. Yeah. Uh, so we have to thank them very much for their service. Um, but that's it, guys. Any last words, Sickness? Oh uh, no, that's it. You. Covered it pretty well. All right, what can I say? It's my job. All right, guys, take it easy. Be safe. And in case you don't watch tomorrow or if you join us tomorrow, that'd be fantastic. But if not, have a very happy holidays from here at the staff at IPL Shoot Mania. Take care and have a great night and day. Take it easy.